Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're taking out this 1996 Toyota Town Ace Super Extra Limited. And if you haven't seen the full review video that I've done on this car, I'll make sure to link that above. But anyways, let's just take this thing out for a spin, shall we? So this car has 77,000 kilometers on the clock, which means that it has about 40 to 50,000 miles on it, which means that it's super new or well, you know, it's almost like a time machine. It's not super new, but it's a JDM van that has a manual transmission. So it's got a five speed manual, which is always a plus. And if I could just find the key to put this in. It's got a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine. Everything in here is very functional. The clutch engagement is super easy. Just one of those vans you can just hop in and really just operate it. Even if you're an amateur or novice at driving a manual, this one is so easy that I'm sure you could even figure it out. And what I like about this van in particular too, it doesn't feel too large. And you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have driven so many different cars that some of the JDM vans that have like the fridge and the sink and all the bells and whistles tend to be heavier and larger just because they're carrying around all these different amenities. So it can be intimidating for a new van driver to hop in and really feel comfortable behind the wheel. But with this, it's, it's like the perfect size, honestly. It, it just feels like big enough to where like the inside is nice and airy and on a beautiful sunny day like this with the double moon roofs open you, you feel like you're in a fishbowl there's just so much visibility and as we know with uh, the modern safety regulations and stuff like that the a pillars on cars are starting to get thicker and thicker from a safety perspective you know that's a good thing but what's nice about the 90s cars is they have these really skinny a pillars so it just gives way more visibility and less blind spots when you're driving something as large as a JDM van like this one. And when it comes to the turbo diesel engine, it's it's pretty quiet. I would say it's on the quieter side of the other diesels that I've driven before. But again, you're in a 90s car with a diesel engine, so you're definitely going to get the audible cues to let you know that all the operations that are kind of happening behind the scenes. Of course, when you get into a modern car now, it's going to be a little bit quieter, but this this is very tolerable. I mean, it, it's it's nothing to scoff away at, just at the fact that you might hear a little bit of the turbo diesel engine operating. The gearbox is really slick in this van. And it's not bad too, like the, the power is not bad at all. It's not the fastest thing I've ever driven, but it's not the slowest thing either. What's nice about the turbo diesel is you get the, the fuel efficiency, but overall it's just a cool van. It seems like people like it too. It's got like this uh, spaceship-like design on the outside. So you'll definitely get looks from people on the road when you're driving this thing. It's a good arm out the window car too. As you notice too, with safety regulations, like this portion of the doors are starting to get higher and higher. But with something like a 90s van like this, you could really just plop your arm here and it's very comfortable. And I really like the armrest too. I wish that they just did this on all vans in general. <laughs> it's just nice to kind of plop your arm here and it's still easy to operate the, the transmission and things of that sort. Could even pop open this little moonroof if you wanted to. Just like that. Open or close it or you could slide it all the way back in the rear. Which is pretty cool. It's just crazy to think when you look back there you're like, oh my god, there's, <laughs> there's so much more to this car. Because when you're up front, you kind of just get so used to it. It almost feels like a really tall Corolla, but there's just a lot of space. It's just a very airy, pleasant place to be. 
And I know the environment's not the best. I know that we're like sitting at a traffic light and we probably should be out somewhere in the woods to really do this car some justice. But uh, I guess we'll have to save that for another time as we just don't have those circumstances right now. But with the town aces, they're very capable off-road and the ground clearance is just astonishing. It, it sits pretty tall, but you don't feel like the center of gravity is like super duper high where it feels like unsafe. But you know, you do have to be a little bit wary of what you're driving and just be careful when you're going around corners and stuff like that. Uh, again, it's not a sports car, but it is a JDM van. So you just kind of have to treat it as such. And since this is such a low mileage example, there's no like crazy squeaks or rattles or anything like that. None of the trim pieces are missing or broken. Uh, the sun hasn't faded the top of the dashboard. So it's, it's just a really rare occurrence to find something that, you know, is all the way back from the 90s. It's almost 25 years old with such low mileage because a lot of these town aces just get driven. You know, it's, it's just such a good daily driver that these just get driven a lot. So it's nice to come to an example that is just super clean with super low mileage to really get the best representation of what it would have been like to drive this back in the 90s. Yeah, this van really goes. Yeah, that's all I really got for today. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.